Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kodash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men, the apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone who are worthy of double honors, and Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kodash, Brakatham, to the 144,000 servants as well as the remaining elect of Israel. So I've got some very important news here in regards to the digital wallet that we've been prophesying about. Okay, when I say we, I'm exclusively talking about us here at Great Millstone, all right, from the apostles on down. Because we understand where this digital wallet is leading to, all right, and it's leading to the fulfillment of Revelation 13 and 16 concerning the mark of the beast, which ultimately is going to lead to Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 to 10 okay concerning the judgment that's going to come from our lord for those that actually get down with esau's beast system in terms of them taking the mltb okay and that judgment ultimately is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles okay bringing about thermonuclear fire and that's going to happen when World War III heats up to a thermonuclear war, okay, between the United States, Russia, the state of Israel, Iran, and their allies. So with that being said, this won't be a long or drawn out lesson. This is more so just going to be an update to some lessons I've done in the past, all right, now... As a matter of fact, since I said that, all you need to do, you know, is go to our various different channels and uh, go to the search bar when you get to our channels and type in digital wallet. Like, for instance, if you go to my channel uh, and you type in digital wallet, there's going to be a plethora of videos concerning this matter. All right. Because I've done so many videos on you know, digital ID and the digital wallet, um, you know, concerning the mark of the beast and whatnot. Okay, and not only me, you know, but collectively, us here at Great Millstone, we've done plenty of videos covering this topic, okay? And so it's the job of you brothers and a few sisters out there, you know, that may not be familiar with this topic or this prophecy, pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16, it's your job to, you know, go to our channels and get the understanding, all right, of what's about to take place here on the earth concerning Bible prophecy. Um, I've got this video here, 10 year plan to completely normalize microchip implant payment and digital ID system. Let's see, all right, this is a video that was uploaded last year um let's see let's go further down okay look at this one here european union unveil new digital wallet um mltb next your digital wallet will eventually be a microchip implant china eliminating cash for microchip digital wallet check that out um, state ID and driver's license now approved via digital wallet major step towards the MLTB MLTB phase one European Commission set up digital ID framework via digital wallet you have to check out this this video okay this is a must watch I mean all of these videos are really you know videos that you have to check out pay close attention to the EU digital identity wallet. It is the framework for the MLTB. European Union, that's the EU, will normalize digital ID wallet and catapult MLTB into effect after next black swan. <laughs> so we've got the videos, man. We've got the, the lessons, you know, MLTB digital identity will be embedded in body World Economic Forum. So again, you know, I advise you brothers, 
you know, especially you brothers, you men, and the few sisters out there to check out these videos, you know, while they're still, um, while they're still here. Because very shortly, you know, our channels are going to get deleted for good, all right? And that's going to fulfill Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 concerning the famine of the word. You can read that. Again, Amos 8 and verse 11. So that's why it says in Isaiah 55 and verse 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay, you've also got Sirach 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn back to the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. Anyway, you know what I advise you brothers and sisters to do is to either watch these videos or download these videos. Okay. So you know what time it is, so you know what's going on. So, um, you know, this isn't going to be no elaborate video or lesson. This is more so um, going to be an update to all the videos that we've done, you know, concerning this matter. All right, concerning the digital ID wallet. So it says, Belgium, let's read down here. Belgium has become one of the first countries to launch a digital identity wallet after the publication of the European Union's um, EIDAS 2.0, the regulation setting standards for national electronic identification systems. So we prophesied about this I, through the spirit, giving all praises to Yah Bash Mao Shai. You know, we spoke about this, you know, years ago, man. And now it's here, which eventually they plan on um, doing away with the, the smartphone as the digital wallet and bringing about the microchip implant as being the ultimate digital wallet, right? And this is our message. This is our warning, okay? Ezekiel 3 verse 17, it says, the digital identity named mygov.b went live on Tuesday with the Belgian federal government promising that the digital identity will provide a smoother experience with administrative work. Yeah, because they're coming in the spirit of convenience. All right, that's how they're pushing it. Let's read from here. The national digital wallet was envisioned as an alternative to popular to the popular It's Me app, a digital identity app owned by a consortium of local telecom companies and banks that has 3.5 million registered users in Belgium. Residents can register for mygov.b using, identity, using an identity card, the EID system, or It's Me. The wallet application will hold official documents and allow users access to public services, the Brussels Times reports. Okay. So that's the key right there. This digital wallet application is going to hold official documents and allow users access to public services. See, that's the trap right there. Because basically, if you don't have this digital wallet in the, in the near future, um, you're basically going to be blocked from society. Okay? You're not going to have access to public services. And the reason I say that is because when you think about public services, that deals with a lot of different things, right? That you utilize um, in your daily life, so to speak whether it be healthcare, that's a part of public services, you know, being treated at a hospital or at a dentist. Um, public services also deals with transportation, okay? So having a driver's license, um, boarding a plane, trying to fly somewhere, of course, getting on a train or, or on a bus, that's a part of transportation, which is a part of public services. Of course, you've got housing, Housing is a part of public services, um, be it paying for rent or 
trying to buy a home of sort. Um, the criminal justice system, going to court and whatnot. What else can I think of? Utilities, you know, paying for electricity, water. And then there's, and then there's certain public service careers out there that they're going to make it mandatory for you to have that chip, whether it be law enforcement, the military, of course. All these things deal with public service. So this is why it's going to be a time of great temptation. Yahweh Shai called it the hour of temptation for a reason. Okay, let's read this here. The app will include an electronic mailbox for government documents and 683 services. The electronic wallet will also hold identity data, C19 you know what records, birth and marriage certificates, a healthcare card for children below the age of 12, and for adults who do not own an electronic card. And here's the last paragraph, it says, by 2025, the app will incorporate EIDs and mobile driver's licenses. And by 2026, the European Health Insurance Card should also be added. Another planned addition is the My Benefits platform, which helps prove the right to benefits. Eventually, this application will help ensure people have the necessary documents with them at all times. You see that? That's the key. Eventually, this app will help ensure people have the necessary documents with them at all times. Okay, and all these documents, all these various different documents, be it, um, you know, your passport, your um, marriage certificates, your birth certificates, um, healthcare cards, so on and so forth. This is all going to go on the chip, all right? This is all going to go on the MLTB. That's why um, when you go into that word, Mark, in Revelation 13 and 16, when you look it up in the Greek, you'll find the Greek word karagma, okay, which is defined as an incision. And what's going to bring about the incision is the karax, okay, which is going to be the 12 gauge needle that they're going to use to actually implant the microchip underneath the skin. And then when you go to the root of that word, karagma and karax, you'll find the Greek word um, grapho. And that's pretty much defined as records, okay? As in your information, your data. And that's speaking about all these various different stuff that you're gonna have stored on the microchip implant, which is gonna be the ultimate digital identity wallet, okay? It's gonna hold all of this stuff that we're reading here. Your identity, whether it be your passport, you know, your social security number, or out there in the UK, your um, NI number, your national identification number, is going to hold your birth and marriage certificates, your healthcare information, and of course, um, your money, which is going to come digitally, because they're about to do away with um, paper money, which is why they're um, introducing the world to CBDC, which is Central Bank Digital Currency, because all of that stuff is gonna be stored on the microchip implant, which is the mark of the beast. So anyway, I mean, why you've got certain Israelite leaders out there, such as Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC, and the rest of the men out there traveling around the world, around the globe, jet setting as it, as it were. Us here at Great Millstone, you know, we're gonna keep warning you about the mark of the beast because this is at hand, okay? It's right around the corner, if not at the door, and we need to prepare ourselves for this hour of temptation. So I pray and hope that you brothers and sisters out there were edified 
And until next time, I'll say Shalom.